So you see where um, old uh, Albert Einstein's been vindicated. Uh, the uh, Copenhagen interpretationists, uh, or the, the Copenhagenists of uh, the quantum mechanic world, uh, it looks like they're on their last legs in terms of certain phenomena, especially in terms of the um, electron jump. Um, so here's what's going on, and um, it looks like th uh, this guy, his name is um, Frank Zanardi, um, discovered this phenomena that up until now was supposed to take place in the non-existent world of probability wave. So, <laughs> and if, you, if you're not familiar with probability wave, uh, probability wave is uh, something that um, Schroden, Schrodinger and Heisenberg and Born um, came up with um, to um, describe what's going on in terms of the quantum behavior um, of electrons as they um, jump orbits and, and emit uh, photons. And the idea was that the way they were presenting it, w their interpretation, Copenhagen interpretation, is it's just based on probability, and there's no underlying physics. <laughs> there's, no <laughs> there's no reality. It's just the probability with no reality um, supporting it, um, which is which is bizarre. I mean, and, you know, Einstein uh, used to uh, um, have real problems with this. I mean, if you read his Einstein's account of um, his explanation for relativity in the end of his book. He uh, says that he believes that this uh, probability wave function idea is um, an attack on reality. Um, now here's where it becomes, here's where it becomes very interesting. Well, there's a couple places it comes interesting. One, one is the, the scientific community and the politics involved because um, What's going to happen? We're going to see that all this, all this uh, yammering about how the scientific community is so malleable and how they're ready to take correction at the you know drop of a dime. We're going to see what watch what happens. Um, it's not going to it's not going to happen that that quickly. It, you're, we're going to see it could be um, decades before uh, the Copenhagenists um, are finally. Uh, relegated to the dustbin. Now, I remember going in uh, to a bookstore uh, a while back looking for um, the book called A Survey of Hidden Variable Theories. That's by some um, Italian author. I forget his name. Uh, um, the intellectual, <laughs> the intellectual at the bookstore, you know, gives me this look like uh, and he even said, he says, like, you know, rolls his eyes and says, there's such thing as hidden variables. So it was, there's a whole, po <laughs> there was politics behind this. I don't, I don't know exactly, I don't quite understand um, what the motive was uh, for a phenomena that could not be traced to um, a mechanics, a physical mechanics. And by the way, you know, I'm a, I'm a, a Christian, born a Christian, believes in spiritual things, but my, my definition of spiritual, I, I think the spiritual is just an old-fashioned word for, for extra-dimensional. Or a, a better, better way to put it is this, spiritual is an old-fashioned word for supernatural, and supernatural is, is the old-fashioned word for extra-dimensional. Now, here's the, here's the interesting thing, and, and um, um, is another interesting aspect of this is that the explanation uh, for the um, removal of the probability wave um, is strictly classical, but it, it really comes down, it's a classical uh, equation. So, so it's not really, um, it's not really quantum because it, it explains, it explains exactly what's taking place in the physical background, um, um, what are the phenomena that um, conspire to uh, send the transition of the electron to the next orbit? 
which was supposed to, you know, according to the Copenhagen um, probability wave, it, it didn't take place in reality. <laughs> I don't know where, 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 you know, where you get non-reality from, but it took place in non-reality in this, in this bizarre philosophical thing called the probability wave, which I, I by the way, never uh, um, subscribed to. Um, I, now, and here's the thing, I mean, if you watch some of my videos, you'll see that you know, I, I do still entertain the idea that um, you could have things like superposition um, that might require extra dimensionality. The, um, the trans, the, the, um, um, translation, uh, of the, uh, electron, um, is taking place uh, without, um, any kind of appeal to extra dimensions. Basically what's happening if, if you're up on this stuff is, um, the discovery is that when, um, the photon enters the a atom and, and um, into the realm of the electron, it slows down to match perfectly um, uh, the um, wave function of the electron and puts it in a sort of uh, um, superfluid state where you get complete um, energy transfer. Um, there's no loss of energy from when it when it goes uh, from uh, one orbital to the other. And so that's ba basically what the what the little mechanical phenomena is. It's a very bizarre thing that nobody thought would ever be discovered. Um, it, it's just that a simple um, and of course not by coincidence. If you you know if you believe in the uh, intellect of God, we know it's not co it's not coincidental that the electron happens uh, to uh, have this wave function that. Um, uh, corresponds to the um, speed of the photon and basically it's the um, the wave function is the uh, phonon um, vibration that matches the the um, the speed of uh, the electron at that of the um, photon at that point and it it gets the job done it gets your electron um, up or down an orbital with strictly non probability um, phenomena. So, <laughs> you know, it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm going to give you, uh, I don't know, you know, I'm not like, I'm not setting up links and all that. I, um, 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 because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm actually computer illiterate. Um, so what I want to do is, um, recommend these, these, these sites, these a couple sites that, um, you can get a lot more information. Um, well, first of all, the one guy is, is the scientist who, um, did the math, um, Frank, um, Zinardic. I think is a Z N I Z uh, A R S I C, Z N I D A R S I C. Um, the uh, YouTube guys that are posting this, um, one is called Seattle for Truth, and uh, the other guy is um, Alien Science. And um, as far as I can tell, they're both um, uh, you know atheists. They're philosophical materialists. But that doesn't bother me. I mean, they got a lot of good information. Is um, very interesting guys, real smart guys. The one guy's kind of like um, the one guy. I think he might be a crypt or a blood. So when he's not doing physics, he's uh, out on the street mugging uh, middle class white people or uh, pimping the sisters or something like that. But uh, at least that's what he tries to sound like. <laughs> that's what he looks like. But I don't know. I don't really know the guy. He's probably. I'm only making that up. He's he's probably just um, a strange character. Uh, but uh, at any rate, um, those are the guys. And uh, I, what I'll do is make videos that take this, you know, these new discoveries and, and you know, in light of, of God's creation. Because the, the problem with, the problem with um, materialistic philosophy, and what we mean by material ph philosophy is that every, you know, the only thing that exists is in our realm, which is finite. So you got a problem. Now, <clears throat> right now it looks to like the universe is spatially infinite, but not chronologically infinite. So as long as you have, and, and by the way, I'm chronologically infinite, you, 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 things would be so different. It, it would be, it's almost impossible to describe how it might be. But, um, so that, you know, it's not like, it's not like, um, this phenomena, um, you know, eliminates any need for um, an extra-dimensional uh, God, um, and and 
by the way, the the knowledge that God's uh, um, in an extra dimensional realm uh, comes just through simply through history in the Bible. You you get the Bible, you look at the prophecies, you see um, how they were fulfilled through history. You you conclude that the source of this information it was given to the prophets um, had to be um, in an extra dimensional realm where he was able to see past, present, and future simultaneously. And that's, um, that's a successful um, bit of evidence that God has provided us with through the, the prophets and the history and the, and the, um, and the, the scriptures. That's not, uh, it's not um, um, an act of blind faith like, like the uh, materialist reductionist, <laughs> you know, like to characterize. Um, faith is, is based on something that actually happened. There's, there's true history behind uh, the events of the Bible, and you can just, you know, do the ver veracity uh, test. And so that's what, you know, it's not like, um, I was thinking about making a faith versus reason <laughs> a video because that's such a stupid idea. It's not, uh, faith and reason don't uh, oppose one another. Um, faith is based on reason. In other words, you look at the evidence and you can reason, hey, you know, um, um, this um, God um, warrants my trust. And, and really, f the, the word faith in the way it's used in the Bible really should be replaced by trust. It, it, it's no longer a useful word. It's lost. It's kind of an obsolete as far as I'm concerned. It's trust. It's not, it's not faith like um, it's come to be defined in today's you know, lexicon. Um, so anyways, this is, <laughs> this is Einstein's vindication, I think. Um, and what else are we going to, you know, what else are we going to find out that, 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 you know, we were told over and over again that, you know, it's the probability wave and there's no, there's no underlying reality, <laughs> you know. So what else is next? It's very, I, I, you know, I find it fascinating. I, I'm going to have to um, um, maybe do um, uh, some um, lectures on as they, as they come up with, with new discoveries. But some of the things that, some of the implications, of course, are, um, anti-gravity and um, well superconductivity of course but, but low temperature um, I mean, excuse me high temperature su superconductivity and so they got this uh, they, they see these phenomena taking place because of this relationship between um, the uh, speed of the photon and um, the um, wave function, the phonon, phononic wave function in the uh, electron. And, and, and it also can take place, it also does this in, in um, certain uh, chemicals. Um, you can do it with uh, protons. And they actually have uh, proton currents uh, happening now <laughs> in, in certain solutions. So um, check them out. Uh, and, and you know, if I get more information, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll share it with my, uh, the, my viewers. I know I have some people that enjoy um, the scientific aspects that, that um, I share in, in terms in light of Christi Christianity so check those guys out um, alien science and truth for Seattle take care